Red, White, and Blue, as all of the Small X films, are so timely. And it's kind of like not knowing about, if you didn't know about the period costumes and kind of had the historical context of these events, then you may think, wow, some of these same things could be happening in 2020. And I know there's no way you had any idea that when you were making the, when you all were making these films that we would be in the position we are now. So as an actor, how does it feel to be a part of a project that not only rings true in this moment right now, it rings louder even, and but still delivers this historical context like, you know, what's old is new and what's new is old and this has been happening and continues to happen. Yeah, I feel like it speaks it speaks to that, that it, 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 is, it more shines a light on the, the fact that nothing has changed in a very, very long time. And, um, and, and that is, is the alarming thing, that this will always be seen as timeless because every year something is, is, is done to help spark up the, the tension, you know, and for us, mm-hmm. especially black people, to get this kind of insight and perspective at this time before any of this happened when we were making this, we saw it as, as, as a way of shining a light on, on a perspective that we don't get to see often. And knowing that Steve McQueen obviously has the pull to make this global, I think this is also very, very uh, great for the global black community to, to also see uh, what has happened over here in, in, in the UK. And for us in the UK that don't even know about it, um, mm-hmm. we have a, a, a bit of a history lesson that I hope you know, just prompts some more research. Yeah, definitely. And you've been very candid and open about um, speaking out about everything that's going on in the past few months. And I wanted to ask you, do you think that the industry is, you know, it's adapting a lot due to COVID-19, but do you think this pandemic is an opportunity to change all of these industry systems for the better? Or do you think things will continue to get worse for marginalized people before they get better? Um, I. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which way it's going to go, especially as you as you mentioned, the pandemic is a big thing in changes that have been made to the industry. Um, its effects on the studios, effects on the, the decision makers. I know a lot of people lost their jobs and livelihoods. So entertainment as a whole is taking a, a major um, massive hit. You know, on the development side, as a producer, I still see things being developed, people writing scripts, people are, are auditioning out samples. Um, but I, I still do feel like it's gonna be based on whatever we can do in this moment. So obviously while I can fixate on how it could potentially go, uh, I'd just rather just fixate on what I can do, what I've got to, to make sure there is some form of, of continuation of, of projects that, that basically hire people like us. Yes, absolutely. So I'm super excited to see um, the slate from your production company. Um, and I know it's going to give us a lot of these stories that we that we mm-hmm. definitely, definitely, definitely. But thank you so much. I um, appreciate chatting with you. I can't wait for everyone to see all of these films. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, man.